Okay, so this is a uh, 2023 plated urban 18 foot 9 X terrain. So this one is uh, so we go tourer, we go tough, we go X terrain, then we go extreme. So classified as off road, uh, full off road. Uh, suspension can go all the way to 4.4 if you want it to. On the standard builds like this, we build them to a 3.5 ton. I think tear on her is around 2700 but we'll have a squeeze of that but yeah 18 foot 9 this is the new layout uh, inside with the pantry next to the fridge let's have a look so we'll start at weights so what's she coming in so 2600 empty ATM three and a half you got a ball weight a very decent ball weight which is good on a shorter length fan of 279 so obviously you've got the stone guard on the front, the DA35, and then you've got the toolbox with the uh, gas bottles recessed in there, and then the slide on that side, that's for your, for your generator. So that's got a slide out, so designed for a Honda, Honda 2. Obviously it's a bit hard to show you down the side of her here, but on X-Terrain you've got the three tanks, so this has got the dedicated drinking tank, only because I can just see the three nozzles, inlet nozzles just there to fill up your tanks. Um, yeah, so you've got the dedicated drinking tank, 62 litre, and then you've got the two, two uh, 95s as well. Outside shower on this as well. And then on x train too, you've got the bar lights on the front as well as the side, and then the one just next to the tunnel boot just here as well. So one piece fiberglass roof on this one. And of course your honeycomb fiberglass floor and then underneath you see the full checker plate armor as well and that's at the back too and it protects all of your chassis underneath all your pipes and then it's a truss chassis as well so twin shock suspension she's riding on a flat floor a little peak in there a little twin shock now you got a 17 inch wheel on a mud terrain tire. This has got your little hatch for your TV, your outside point there. Bracket, obviously your picnic table as well. Also got the infinity outside speakers, which got lights in them, as well as the floodlight outside. So you got plenty of light when you're out in the bush. Obviously TIG welded alloy frame. Now forearm bumper on the rear, so you can put a little box there if you want. So it's also got the up high tail lights as well. So a set of tail lights there. And then at the top as well is your reversing camera. All right, let's jump in. So double step, being flat floor, she does sit up pretty high. And you've got the little, could call it a pantry, could call it, I don't know, I'd normally say, you put your sunscreen, you'd put your, you know, deodorant, hats, stubby holders, all that sort of stuff is handy in here. Peak, so they've just got shelves in them. And yeah. That one's got your third row, so a little storage in there as well. So this one is coming in 119, 990 on this one. Obviously it's got your two 100 amp hour lithiums as well as your 420 watts of solar on the roof. Panning around got the what I call the Wally washing machine it does look a bit like that movie uh, a little front loader but decent you can cram them in there front loaders are good for that got the Dometic toilet a little bit of storage down the bottom there so you can good for towels and sheets and things like that in there Handing around you got a little bank of drawers as well which is handy nice bowl and still a decent size shower for an 18 foot 9. There's a fair amount of room in there. So yeah, this one's the BM Pro Odyssey system. So the tablet at the door. Now uh, this has got your toggle switches for your for your lighting outside. And obviously with Urban's we use a Dometic and Mobicore window, so they're a midi proof screen on there. You can see it's a very fine mesh, and then you've got the foil back pull up from the bottom 
So this one's on the trifold table. And it's got the pull out footrests. So little puffs go on here. And then these lift up for good for shoe storage and things like that in there. So Urban do all of their upholstery in house. They also have a upholstery company as well. Obviously you get the embroidered headrests. They look really nice. And then you've got the 12 volt USB points as well right at the table which is handy so nice flush cabinetry no no protruding here you know handles knobs whatever so all your locks are recessed so they're all metal under there uh, lots of storage across the top so panning around you got your ensuite so it does come with two Sirocco so you got two Sirocco's up by the bed and it stay nice and cool at night you got the full padded uh, bed head and then you've got the the nooks in there as well which have also got um, a toggle switch for, for lighting uh, at night time to go to the bathroom or whatever as well as some socket and some usb points there for cpac machines or whatever um lots of storage on each side of course i'll open some of these up so you got that and then they utilize the top so it's no good putting a hanger all the way up there because you won't get full width your little shelf is there as well some drawers next to the bed which is just good for medication and things like that so I'll go around into the corner here and I'll start panning around be more of a look overall so anyone that um, is on the internet and um, follows YouTube uh, this is the same sort of layout that Sarah and Keelan have got in their van uh, 18 foot 9 is a very popular model people like the shorter length because of course it saves a fair bit on on weight being a full off rotor at 2600 that's pretty impressive so obviously on your insides too uh, not only is it a rhs uh, tig welded frame you've got your inner fiberglass as well and walls as well as a honeycomb floor which is almost an inch thick so very well insulated all one piece uh, it's it, it that is it's an important thing it's you know you're paying for it obviously but as far as like your lino goes, you're not going to end up with any of those creases or anything like that being a solid, uh, you know, almost inch thick and then one piece all the way front to back. So cabinetry wise, they do a beautiful job. There's no other way to put it. Um, all flush, you can't see any gaps there. You're talking millimeter perfection. Your soft close drawer runners, you know, metal drawer sides. It's one thing Urban do fantastically well at. Obviously you've got a mixer, a tap there as well as your, your filtered water, but and have a look at look at the sides there see they're all metal and then you'll be as rough as you like on the soft clothes now in the end you got a little shelf in there load that up a little bit of room of course you've got a sink into there so you're gonna have the room for the filter in there too and then more drawers there's a lot of drawers big drawer there that'll be good for your saucepans and your frying pans and that Obviously recessed cooker, so this lid can come down, so you've got plenty of bench space. And that's your, that's your duct there for your uh, positive air system, your pressurised cabin. This model now has got the little pantry. So you've got room in there to fit your cornflakes or whatever else in there as well. There are your power points for your fridge and your microwave, of course. And then at the bottom as well, you've got three shelves there. And yeah, they go all the way back, so they're nice and deep. So the two door 188 fridge so yeah plenty of room in there it's pretty much you know the same size as a smaller household uh, fridge freezer the fridge is massive and compressor of course runs on your 12 volt or your 240 um, sliding uh, door there as well and then you've also got your you need new entertainment system that they offer as well so it's like an android tablet now which comes with um one of these is for a sim card so you can practically use maps and whatever else on there um and so i think one's a gps too so you can look at where you're at too these can be stuck on down the track but yeah you can use it as like a wi-fi um dongle i guess you could say type thing um, to connect your phones to as well So yeah, the most of these you're going to find it all just storage. A lot of people go and put shelves in themselves in these down the track. That one's got the lip there. 
obviously because you've got the range hood there so it needs to be vented out so panning around i'll swing around from the back so you can have a good look So yeah, it's very spacious. You feel like you're in a 20 footer, to be honest with you. It doesn't feel like we're in an 18 foot nine at all. Uh, the convenience, of course, if you're going off road, you you know, you got, get around all those tight corners, but you've got the fantastic clearance, but you've also got that tandem axle as well. So yeah, this girl's available. Um, you can buy her off the floor. I've got a few Urbans in stock um, at the moment. I got a 20 foot extreme too, if anyone's interested in one of those. And come and have a squeeze at that. Uh, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, guys. Appreciate it. Um, create more content, more stuff for you guys to view on those Saturday nights. Um, I appreciate it. Have a good day, guys.